In this episode, I will introduce the origin and spread of the paternal DNA haplogroup E1B1B, which is known to belong to Albert Einstein and Napoleon Bonaparte. Haplogroup E of paternal DNA is the fourth oldest. In this episode, we will examine the origin and diffusion root of E1B1B, a branch of E. Before that, let me show you some of the celebrities known to belong to E1B1B. Some of the branches of E believed to have first formed in present-day Sudan or Ethiopia migrated west. Others go south. The group that moved west was mainly the E1 branch, and the haplogroup that moved south belonged to E2. A part of the populations belonging to E1 migrate north. A group of these make their way south back to the region called the Horn of Africa. They belong to E1B1AV38. They again migrated west and south of Africa. Please refer to the link previous video for detailed migration and distribution of haplogroups E1A, E1B1A, and E2, which are now core members of Africans. Let's look at the African Great Lakes region for a moment. This is the main rainfall area in Africa. The rain concentrated here flows north along the White Nile, where it meets the Blue Nile and Apro rivers and flows into the Egyptian Delta. E1BS branches are believed to have migrated north along the Nile River. E1B1B, also known as EM215, appears to have first formed 41,400 years ago, somewhere downstream at the confluence of the Nile and Apro rivers. E215 has to anciently formed branches, EM35 and EM281. Among the subhaplogroups of EM215, it is the only branch EM35 identified by a non-Ethiopian native. It is thought to have formed around 34,700 years ago near the Nile River, which flows through Egypt. The EM35, in turn, has two known branches, EV68 and EZ827. Most modern people who have a cyclade of the M215 include both. Perhaps the V68 formed in Egypt 26,000 years ago. Currently, the highest frequency is seen in the Horn of Africa. The EZ827 was most likely first born 24,000 years ago in North Africa. The EM78 is a subclade of the V68 formed in same Egypt 19,100 years ago. Regions where EM78 is observed with high frequency, and people carrying this paternal gene are mapped.
At the same time, another branch of V68, V2729, migrates south of the Italian peninsula. M123, a branch of Z827 in northern Africa, moved to the Levant 18,900 years ago. Some people from the other branch, M81, have moved to northwest Africa. Then it spread to present-day Morocco and the Iberian Peninsula. V12, a cyclade of M78, was first formed in Egypt 12,400 years ago and is thought to have spread to present-day Ethiopia. About 11,800 years ago, one of the cyclades of the M78, the V22, migrated to the Levant. V65 moved to northwestern Africa about 11,000 years ago and then spread to Sicily and Morocco. V32 the branch of V12 formed about 9,700 years ago. Returned to the Horn of Africa region via the Arabian Peninsula. The V32 can now be found mainly in Eastern Africa. Those belonging to EV-22 head to Balkan via the south of Anatolia. 8,900 years ago, L-618 was formed in the middle of that path. And people belonging to V-13 about 8,100 years ago appeared in Balkan. The time is the earliest possible. The time to the most recent common ancestor of V-13 is 4,800 years ago. Furthermore, all the modern members of EV-13 descend from a common ancestor who lived approximately 5,500 years ago. They also descended from a later common ancestor who carried the CTS-5856 mutation. Its ancestors must have lived in the Bronze Age about 4,100 years ago. The distribution of V13 was mapped using the data set of a paper published by Fulvio Crucini et al in 2007. Now, let's take a look at the path and timing of the spread of the EV-13 major branch. Sub-branches of V-13 include CTS-8814 and by 6550 all were formed 4,800 years ago. By 6,550 is found in Germany and Scotland. Cyclades of by 3,880, the main branch of CTS 8,814 spread across Europe. Let's look at a map of their approximate diffusion path. 